So she is absolutely separating from him. As you said, she he hasn't been anywhere where he really needed her. He's got a mental health issue mm. and he needs somebody there to prop him up. Anyone would actually, but she keeps away. So he's doing all the nasty stuff and she's sailing on ahead. And I think that's the beginning of the end of it for him. That was royal expert Angela Levin there weighing in on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship. Ms Levin spoke about the couple's 2018 wedding, saying everyone was so happy for the Duke of Sussex to have at last found someone who he loved. Despite accusations that Britain and the monarch are racist, Angela Levin and Dan Wooten discussed how that wedding was wildly celebrated in the country and it was the greatest day for everyone. Since then, as Angela Levin says, it has disintegrated very badly. Less than two years after the wedding, Harry and Meghan packed up their things, stepped down as senior royal members and moved to California. Since then, they have embarked on a media blitz of TV interviews, a book deal for Harry, a podcast for Meghan and a six episode Netflix series for the both of them. Angela Levin says that Meghan Markle always planned, even on her wedding day, for the couple to leave the monarchy, labelling the Duchess a planner and a plotter. The royal expert and author believes the couple are now living different lives to each other. She claims that Harry is doing something negative and upsetting that probably is making him feel that he hasn't succeeded, whereas Meghan Markle is more into the entertainment lifestyle. Ms Levin said she, Meghan, is absolutely separating from him. She hasn't been anywhere where he really needed her. He's got a mental health issue and he needs somebody there to prop him up. Anyone would actually, but she keeps away. He's doing all the nasty stuff and she's sailing on ahead. And I think that's the beginning of the end of it for him. She's making sure that he's in a hopeless situation so that she can get the children. Now, whether or not any of that is true, Angela Levin does have experience spending time with Harry as she wrote the book, Harry, Conversations with the Prince in 2018. And while the royal author makes the point that Harry probably needed Meghan at the coronation, it was Archie's fourth birthday. And there was speculation that she didn't want to face any angry Brits who might publicly boo her. Last week, it was the five year anniversary for Harry and Meghan, which was met with not a lot of hype around it, with the two choosing not to publicly celebrate it. Angela Levin said earlier this week that Harry looks absolutely shriveled five years into the marriage. But why not make something out of it, given the actual wedding was a big spectacle in the UK? News.com today used Bronte Coy joined Sky News Australia's program, The Royal Report, where she said that decision was very strange. It was so exciting, we were so optimistic about the future and they looked so happy and it was the new chapter of the royal family, how times have changed. Uh, yeah, interestingly, they haven't actually marked the occasion at all. I would say that maybe they're opting for privacy, but then that doesn't really fit with recent events. So I, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one and it has certainly been noticed by people as well. Uh, and, and also, yeah, just the fact that it's been five years, surely they're having that thought as well. What have we achieved in five years? They were only in the royal family for about 18 months after that wedding and, and since then, we really are yet to see them move forward in a significant way away from the royal family ties um, into this new chapter they talked about. So it is a significant occasion and also very strange that they haven't said a word about it. But maybe Angela Levin isn't the only one who believes the Sussexes are on the rocks. Megan Kelly told GB News that she's predicting the marriage will only last seven years. It's just a matter of time. We all know that. I predict, I, I mean, I think we're probably under seven years for the length of this marriage. That's just my, you know, back of the envelope calculation.